Good night, good night. Hey, everyone, John, tonight, God is good, and God is good all the time. My name is Irma J. Spirit Divine. I'm here to give you a word on tonight, and the topic is going to be rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. You know, this story about how to enter that rest. Go to Jesus for rest, and he will carry your burdens and give you rest. Now, what can prevent a person from entering the rest? It's unbelief. Unbelief and not having no faith, you cannot enter that rest. You know, so this story, I'm gonna tell you about this story with unbelief. You have to have you have to um believe to enter God rest. Because you know God, He created the world and on the seventh day he rests and he made that seventh day holy. You know, so God created the world and rests on the seventh day, and he attended the faithfulness to rest as well. But you know a lot of us, you know, go and rest. And then the, the rid of the service is supposed to be on a Saturday. Um, so this story is going to come from Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1 through 11. Um, to faithful and faithful focus on our eyes, on the work that Jesus had already accomplished for us on the cross. You know, so... Um, Hebrews chapter 4, 1 through 11, the rest still stand. God wants his people to be faithful in entering the rest. You can't have unbelief to enter that rest. You know, God also said, you will not enter the rest with unbelief. You know, so we're going to see about the first group. The first group is going to have unbelief. You know, so they had the gospel. This is the first group. They had the gospel preached to them, just as they did the other group. But the message they heard was of no value, no value to them. I mean, they, they mean the word ain't meant nothing to them. You know, they ain't paid no attention to it. You know, they preached that word to them, and it was no value, no value to them at all. You know, so because those who heard did not combine it with faith. You know, they ain't combined it with faith. So what they heard, they were like, oh, well, you know, they didn't have no faith. They didn't have no belief. You know, they had unbelief. You know, some people can hear the word and they be like, you know, don't pay no attention. They don't have no value to them. You know, hearing that word is good news. You know, you put that, that word is value. And the first group had no value at all to the word. They heard the word. But then they paid no attention. They ain't had no value to them. You know, they ain't believe it. You know, so the first group heard the gospel, but it was no value to them and no faith. They had unbelief. They could not enter the rest. Uh, some people can hear the word, but don't pay attention to it. Because when they when 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 somebody preaching to someone and it's and it's something that they don't want to hear or is not interested to them. That means they don't have no value on what you're saying. You know, and they don't have no belief on what you're saying. You know, so you cannot enter God's rest. You know, if you hear a prophet preach and you're not, um, you're not believing in what they're saying. You know, so rest for the word. So, you know, so Matthew eleven twenty eight. You know, Jesus said, come to me, all you who are warm and burdened, and I will give you rest. And this is what Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. You know, you know, we all can learn from Jesus, because you know, he was an excellent teacher when he was on earth. You know, for I am gentle and humble, and you know, Jesus, all gentle and humble and hard, and you will find rest for your soul. But any yoke is easy in my burden is light. You know, and so that's Jesus talking. He said, He will give you rest for your soul. For your yoke is easy and my burden is light. You know, so Genesis 2, verse 2. Now this is God. By the seventh day, God had finished the work that he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rests from all his work. You know, he, he rests six days straight. 
So when summer day came, you like, I'm, 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 I'm about to give me some rest. And God, and on that summer day, God blessed the summer day, and He made it holy. That's why they have a uh, service on a Sunday night. That's why Sunday is holy because God made Sunday holy because He had rest on that summer day. You know, because on it He rests from all the work of curating that He had done. You know, he, that was a whole lot of work he did. He created the whole world in six days. So on the seventh day, you know, he said, I'm going to rest. And I'm going, I'm not going to only rest. I'm going to make that day holy. That's why we have Sunday. And that's why Sunday is holy, that we go to church on the Sunday. You know, so um, the first group had unbelief. They had unbelief. They had unbelief and they had no value. They had unbelief and no value. They heard it. They heard the word, but did not combine it with faith. So they did not enter God's rest. You know, because you, you cannot have unbelief. You know, you can't hear the word and then you're not paying it no attention because it don't have no value to it to you. You know, so the second group, the second group believed, and they entered the rest, you know, just as God has said. You know, so we see you cannot enter the rest with unbelief. You have to believe what that preacher is praying, preaching to you. You know, you have to believe, you know, so they, they're saying, you know, you know, some people, you can have two people listen to the same thing, but you'll have one person don't get it. But then you had other, both of these heard the same word. One didn't get it, but the second group got it. They believe it, and God allowed them to enter that rest. The first group didn't believe. They were disobedient because they, they, didn't, they heard the word, but they didn't want to believe the word. You know, so God said they should never enter his rest. You know, you cannot. When somebody preaching, you just don't want pay attention. You, you know, that's God's prophet is preaching. You know, when somebody is preaching, that is good news. You know, that is good news that you should hear. That's just like Mary. Mary was always at Jesus' feet, like this here. L listen to everything that Jesus was saying. Because that was good news she was listening to. She was trying to learn. She was trying to pay attention to what Jesus was saying. You know, you want to pay attention to what somebody is saying, not take it as no value and not pay no attention because you cannot enter that rest if you're not paying attention to what someone is trying to say because a lot of time, a word comes from God to preach to his people. You know, many of the time, Jesus or God, they be popping stuff up for me to preach. You know, like yesterday, that was popped up in my head, the press, the, the priest that God was in the mix. You know, so a lot of time, a word come from God or Jesus for us to preach. And when somebody taking no value and not paying it no attention, you know, you, you got two people hearing the same word, but one ain't paying no attention because they feel like they ain't had no value to them. The other group pay attention and they believe. And they were able to enter God's rest. You know, so, well, some will enter that rest. And those who, who had the gospel um, preached to them did not go in. You know, and that's something how you can have that gospel preached to you. And you still didn't pay no attention to it. You know, because of their disobedience. You know, disobedience and unbelief, you cannot enter that rest. You know, so, um, so one, we see that you can't, you can't answer the rest of God with unbelief. They heard the word, but it was no value to them. You know, two, you have to hear the word and believe to rest in the Lord. You know, you have to believe, you know, Jesus is our shelter in rest from the storm. You know, of life. You know, we, we have to accept it. Accept his rest. You know, we have to believe in Jesus. Because he our shelter. He our shelter to run to. 
you know, and we have to accept his, accept his rest, you know, because we have the rest in the Lord, you know. So when we turn to Jesus for rest, we can't, we can't have unbelief, you know, because Jesus was a good teacher. He'll tell that story where you will get it. You know, you will get it. So if Jesus is preaching that word to you and you still not get it, something's wrong with that picture. You know, because he gonna, he gonna preach that word and tell you a story to make sure you get that word. You know, so if you, you, you don't get that word and you still got unbelief, something's wrong with that picture. You know, you got to have belief. You have to believe. You know, you cannot have unbelief. Now, we have to trust and have faith and believe to enter the rest in the Lord. Um, and that there remain a subject that rests for the people of God. But anyone who enters God rests also rests from his own work, just as God had did. You know, and God thought, you know, he's... He said, you know, he thought everything going to be faithful. You know, when he rests on his, on the seventh day, you know, he wanted all us to do the same thing. You know, that's why he said he is the people of God. But anyone who enter God rests also rests from their own work, just as God did with his. So that's what we were supposed to do. You know, that would have been wonderful for me because I, I don't like working on a Sunday anyway. You know, that would have worked fine for me. Let me work six days straight and let me rest on the seventh day. You know, God took a seat. He rests on that seventh day. He, he worked six days straight and create that world. Create the world. And on that seventh day, he said, I'm going to give me some rest. And because he got him some rest, he made that seventh day holy. You know. So, um, God want us. To make every effort to enter their rest. So that no one will fall by following their example or disobedience. You know, so God, you know, that's what the Bible is for. A lot of mistakes happen in the Bible. You know, so the Bible is of a guideline. You know, you either read the mistakes they made and not make the mistakes. You know, and also read the Bible. They have guidelines. You know, everything we going on on this earth is every situation is in this Bible. You know, every situation is in this Bible. You know, in, a, in anything that you're going to, it's in this Bible. You know, it's guidance of not make the mistake. Because a lot of them make mistake in the Bible. We, we, we ought not to make the mistake, the same mistake that they made in this Bible. They made plenty of mistakes in this Bible. You know, even the of uh, the Israelite never God favor people. You know, so um, uh, it take you know it take belief to enter that rest. You know, so one, the first group heard the word, but it was no bad to them. They didn't pay no attention. They had no faith, and they they had unbelief. You can't enter the rest with unbelief. You know, in second, two, the second group heard the word and into the rest. You know, because they both of them heard the same word. One believed and one unbelieved. You know, so the second group, they heard the same word. They believed and God allowed them to enter their rest. You know, so three, we also see that you can rest in the Lord. You know, you can rest in the Lord. You know, that's the name of this topic, rest in the Lord. Now, he is our shelter and rest from the storm of life. You know, he a big part of my life. You know, he keeping my mind in perfect peace. He healed me whenever I need to be healed. He give me strength whenever I need strength. You know, because I'm, I'm my battle is a still ongoing battle. And I'm all, I always need some strength to keep on going. You know, so he our shelter and rest. You know, and we just... We have to, you know, just accept his rest, you know. But, you know, he working with God on his right-hand side, you know. So, for God created the world, and on the seventh day, he rests. And he also called that seventh day holy. You know, he all called it, he called the seventh day holy. 
okay so we will have to enter this rest we will have faith you got to have faith and you have to believe when you hear that word and you know you're hearing that word from a good preacher you're gonna you you're gonna believe believe that word what he what he or she saying you know to rest in the lord you know don't criticize um prophets don't laugh at prophets because you got to realize you know we all come from god god chose um people to preach you, you know so you have to respect god prophet when they out there preaching you know because we come from him he chose every last one of us to preach you are not all of us most of us are out here to preach you know so don't laugh and don't criticize you know hear that word you know so we will have faith and belief to rest in the lord you know don't never hear the word with no value and being disobedient like the first group you know so god don't want us to have disobedience like the first group he want us to rest rest in the lord you know when you hear that word believe it you know because god really wanted all of us to rest on that seventh day you know just like he said with that group he said he said just like god created the world he worked six days straight on the seventh day he said you too can work and make that seven day of uh, your rest day you know the seven day supposed to be holy to all of us you know supposed to be holy to all of us you know we have to we have to have that we have to enter that rest we enter that rest with jesus jesus is our shelter he is our shelter to rest in you know but we can't go to jesus with unbelief we got to we got to believe you know because jesus jesus is a healer and he is our shelter to rest in the Lord. He also said, uh, he also said uh, he will carry uh, your burdens and give you rest. You know, so in a burden and in a trial that we gone to, we also can we also can talk to Jesus. You know, because he also on God's right hand side. You know, we supposed to call out on Jesus, talk to Jesus, tell him our problem. You know, and put put that rest into uh into jesus because he uh he are our shelter you know so uh anyway, i hope y'all enjoy this word and remember to enter god rest you know you have to you have to believe you saw the first group they could not enter that rest but from um uh, having being disobedient have a uh, unbelief you know unbelief you know, so I, I hope y'all have a blessed day and I see y'all on the next video.